Hey, Bill Faith here from Build Short-Term Rental while still up in the frozen tundra of Alaska, uh, hanging out, checking out the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. Talk a lot about those unique experiences and those are amazing and those are things that you should be focusing on. But right now I wanna talk about the limited occupancy that's here. Um, there's, I'm at a place uh, called Chena Hot Springs right now. Um, there's literally only 67 rooms that are available from cabins to hotel rooms. So what's interesting is we booked this place probably a week and a half ago and we're still paying the standard rate that everybody else is. It is the height of the season right now. It is literally, um, I'm making this video right at the end of January and it's the height of the season to see the Aurora Borealis up here in Northern Alaska. Um, but the interesting thing is I paid $168 for the room that we're staying in. Uh, they don't have suites and they can't upsell and downsell and all that type of stuff. But when we checked in, they said that they're completely sold out. That's what I don't want to have happen to you. Doesn't matter if you're using Price Labs, Beyond Pricing, Wheelhouse, any type of revenue management. You need to make sure that you are manually paying attention to your yield management. And what I mean by that is, think about dynamic pricing. If you've ever used an Uber, and you know if you're coming out of a concert, pre-COVID obviously, uh, or some, you know, some high demand rush hour traffic that the prices skyrocket by two to three times. We need to be taking, putting in the same formula and the same pricing models into our short-term rentals. If we really wanna maximize our ADR and we wanna maximize our profit uh, that we're able to generate, it becomes really super duper important because we all have seasonalities. Even if we're in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, one of the true 12 month out of the year markets, there's still seasonalities for peak pricing, ultra peak pricing, and then there's off seasons, right? So what we really need to think about, and this is the way that I approach the peak season, I look at doing probably about 60 to 70% of my total revenue at any given property in any market, it doesn't matter where you're at, in that ultra peak season. For me, because I invest into drive-in destination vacation rentals for the most part, that's from literally the ultra peak season is like Memorial Day to the second week of August. So if you really pay attention, you'll notice that I raise my rates dramatically uh, on Christmas Eve because I look at Christmas really kicks off the booking season for that ultra peak time. But as I get up and once I hit that 40th percentage, the 40th percentile of bookings for that 12 week season. So when I hit like five bookings, I start to raise my prices even more. And I've already started doing that for the majority of my properties. I'm raising them at 5% every time that I get a booking. So that means as I take four more bookings, I've just in increased my pricing by 20%. So I kind of feel like I'd already maxed out and I'm gonna to continue to do this until I hit the 1st of May. So this video is being shot February 1st. Think about that. That gives me all of February, March, April, till the beginning of May, basically 90 days to really maximize my ADR, which increases my profit. And every single booking that comes in, whether you're doing two nights, three nights, four nights, or Saturday to Saturday, seven nights, which I do at the majority of my properties during that ultra peak season, I'm raising my rates every, every booking by 5%. Now here's why I stop as we get to the 1st of May. And it has nothing to do with how high the rates go or how low they stay or if they're stabilized or the volume of bookings that are coming in. It has everything to do with the number of days in advance my bookings are being made. So I say the 1st of May today, essentially February 1st, that could change as I'm seeing, and I'm sure you're seeing as we move into 2021, that a lot of bookings are booking later. They're booking closer to the check-in date. So if I see that my 38 day advance bookings turn into 25 days or 26 days, then I'll extend and I might go till Memorial Day. So keep an eye on the number of bookings. Every time you get a booking in peak season, raise your rates by 5%. Watch your ADR increase, watch your profit increase. Because at the end of the day, that's why we all are doing short-term rentals to generate income and maximize our profit. If, this, if you found this valuable, don't forget to uh, smash that subscribe button because I'm putting out two to three videos every week. I'm freezing. I got to get inside and warm up. It's about minus eight degrees out here right now. Have a great day, everybody.